Hey everyone, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another training update. In this video, what you're going to see is week three of my squat and deadlift rebuilding program. My last squat and deadlift video training update that I uh, posted covered week one and two. But anyway, I'm going to keep this video nice and simple, as if my videos weren't simple as it is. But yeah, in this video, I'm just going to do some commentary over the training footage here. So what you're seeing here now is day one, which is my main squat day. And today I'm working with six by six with 300 pounds. And as you can see, the reps are still nice and light, fairly easy, but we are slowly upping the volume along with the intensity. Week one and two, I worked with a five by eight. So now I'm into a six by six and yeah, the volume is still increasing. Obviously the weight is increasing. Now, a lot of you might think like, oh, well, five sets of eight, that sounds like more volume than six sets of six. Well, no, because your volume is calculated by multiplying your weight times your reps times your sets. So anyway, yeah, so slowly upping the weight and upping the volume. I'm still doing everything completely raw, not using a belt, not using knee sleeves. I haven't done that in a while, so I'm just really, really taking my time. To rebuilding my um, raw squat and deadlift strength and I also want to up my uh, bring up my core strength without using the belt there so uh, it, I don't know it feels pretty good so far I guess but um, anyway yeah so main squat day six sets of six 300 pounds after my last set here then I did a back off set with 275 pounds for a set of eight that was just to ensure that I was getting the volume in I'm going to go into more detail uh, next week. I'm gonna actually going to kind of go over, um, you know, uh, how I've been tracking my volume. But basically, I'm only tracking uh, my volume for my main squat, uh, which is what you're seeing here, my main squat day, and then my uh, main deadlift day, which is sumo deadlift. But on this day here, uh, I also, after squat, I'll actually do conventional deadlift. And I haven't trained a whole lot of conventional deadlift in a long time, so I wanted to make sure I threw that back into my program because I think doing both conventional and sumo deadlift is very important for covering all aspects. It's, it's a very important compound movement. I don't want to be just doing sumo deadlift. So anyway, yeah, so I'm really, really taking my time with this with this program, just slowly rebuilding my, uh, my squat and deadlift. So it's, it's feeling really good so far, I must say. Uh, we'll see what the next few weeks bring, but um, anyway, moving on to conventional deadlift here. I don't do a whole lot of volume on conventional deadlift. Again, I'm only concerned with my volume, with my squat on this day. So two sets of six with 350 pounds. I'm really, really happy with my form on conventional deadlift, especially seeing I didn't uh, do it in a really long time. <coughs> the last couple times I ran the Candido program, doing snatch grip deadlift but I, you know that was only like every now and then but yeah so two sets of six or 350 pounds obviously moved really really easy form is really tight so definitely happy about that uh, so what you're seeing here now is day two um, this here is actually my second upper body training day but this is the day where I actually throw in high bar paw squats so I'm only using 215 pounds here for five sets of five, but you can see the difference in form and technique. So this is a high bar squat. I got that really upright position, putting in a nice pause on the bottom, getting nice and deep. So it's pretty good. Uh, just throwing in a variation there, just get some extra frequency and volume in. So yeah, this was, uh, these feel really, really good. I haven't done these in a long time. Uh, when I used to do my own programming, like I'm doing here now, I used to throw them in uh, a lot more when I was squatting three days a week. So one thing I did forget to mention from day one is the accessory work I did that day. Now, I'm not going to be recording all the accessory work I did. On that day, I actually didn't record any of it, but I did four sets of eight with leg extensions, and I did four sets of eight with leg press. That's one thing I'm going to be trying to do on this program is to hit up a lot more uh, machine stuff for accessory. I just find that really burns out the legs, and it's really, really good for hypertrophy. Just trying to get some... Uh, muscle growth going which is the whole point of this uh, rebuilding program but anyway so we're moving on to day three here now uh, this here is my main deadlift day where I do sumo deadlift 
and I also track my total volume from week to week uh, for my sumo deadlift on this day. Uh, so I worked with six sets of six with 385 pounds. Uh, in comparison to last week, I think it was five sets of eight with 340 pounds. So fairly big jump in volume and intensity. Um, after this, my uh, hamstrings are actually shot. It's, it's actually quite a bit of volume for deadlift. But uh, yeah, it felt pretty good. Um, obviously, working with some fairly light weights. My best sumo deadlift is 520 pounds. After my last set of six, much like what I did on squat, I did a back off set of eight reps. Yeah, 315 pounds, which is what you're seeing here for eight reps to ensure that I'm getting my volume in. Alright, so after I was finished doing sumo deadlift, I also do squat again on this day. So this is the third time squatting this week. Day one is a low bar squat, day two is high bar pause squat, and here on day three we're doing low bar squat again. We have four sets of eight with 240 pounds. On this day the volume and intensity will be really, really low for low bar squat. It's just to get an extra day of squatting in. Um, you can see I'm doing them really, really controlled, nice and slow, hitting just about parallel, maybe a little shy below. But um, anyway, like I said, my hamstrings were absolutely dead after I finished deadlift. So I actually had a hard time hitting depth here. But anyway, it's a work in progress. I'm hoping that I'll be able to adapt to the volume as, uh, you know, as the training weeks go on. So for accessory work, I did four sets of eight of uh, hamstring curls, which you're seeing right here. Uh, this is the only accessory movement that I recorded, but after I was done this, I also did four sets of eight with good mornings, and I did four sets of eight superset using that like hip abductor and adductor uh, machine.